coming in as a rookie, you, um, you kind of just take everything in your stride and like you hope that um, a debut comes your way. But I suppose, yeah, you really got to work hard for that for that privilege. And I suppose when I got my opportunity pretty early, it was pretty exciting. We we're out um, after a main session, and then Bevo, you know, said, "Oh, that um, Hazy's making his debut this week," and we're like, "That's awesome." And then he goes, "Oh, there's another one as well." And then, like when he said that, I was like, "Maybe I'm a sniff here," but I still didn't know. And then, as you see on the on the TV, once once I found out, it was yeah, it was I don't know. I kind of blanked out a bit. It was a pretty amazing feeling. All the boys getting around you in the middle there. Yeah, I pretty much called my family straight away. And I think Dad started swearing, just like constantly swearing, and Mum started screaming and running around the house. Probably something. Yeah, not, not many people would think I'd say. It was probably my first touch um, in the first quarter. I got it in the back line, um, a handball received from, from Dicko. Um, and I think I was going 100 mile an hour, I almost like dropped the ball out of my hands onto my boot and somehow it was a drop punt. But yeah, that was probably one of my um, fondest memories of that game was just in that first quarter, getting my first touch. If they said coming off the rookie list, you'd play f um, six games in your first year, I'd be like, yeah, I'll take it straight away. Um, but playing, probably playing six, six games before the bye um, probably made me more hungry to like get back in the team and stay in in the second half of the year um, and obviously we hit a, a good patch of form in the second half of the year and didn't have too many injuries so it was tough going but I just stuck at it in the VFL and um, yeah I suppose I've built a pretty good platform and I'm keen for this preseason and what happens next year I guess.